There we go. Let me know if it's too loud or too quiet. Burns out. All right, let's do it. I'm so tired. I don't expect to play too well just because I'm like dead. I almost don't want to play all the way to the end because I'm so, I just don't want to like be online that long. All right, so Aleki, Moltres, Tapu Fini, uh, Dusclops, Rillaboom, Heatran. I mean, I see very little reason not to lead off Tapu Koko. And... Yeah, the Tapu Koko lead's actually really solid here. We'll go Tapu Koko Landris on the lead. There isn't too many reasons not to. Uh, Marowak in the back. Doesn't look awful, and I think my last Pokemon's going to be this Moltres. Let's do it. Also, keep in mind, there is a one minute... There is a one minute delay, so I don't get stream sniped. Do I look tired? We're getting getting some followers here. <laughs> Fall semester feels like my academically worst year in my lifetime. You stubborn and drop any classes. I feel that, man. Ah. Zordar, how you doing? I can like hardly keep my eyes open. Maybe I'll go get some water after the match. It's only like what what time is it here? It's only seven, bro. What? Only seven? I thought it was like nine. Wow. Okay. Well let's do this. Let's get off Moltres and the boy. This is actually a really good lead for me, I think. They're probably just going to go for screens. And I'm going to outspeed that Moltres, so... Hmm. What's my play here? Daylight Savings does that? Yeah, it's annoying. Go for this light screen. I don't think they would electroweb me. It just don't make sense, you feel? It just doesn't make sense. I might Dynamax early. Any reason not to Dynamax? This team actually does go stinky on them. I will say that for a fact. This team does, in fact, go stinky. I will go stinky on them right now. That's a new one for me. <laughs> it doesn't just go stupid, it goes stinky. <laughs> See, they don't expect me to make such a stupid play turn one, so it's going to work. Let's see if they Dynamax. Alright, that should be the Moltres, but I'm going to set up a screen. So I'll be able to take a hit pretty well. If they go for a Reflect, that makes sense too. But I think I end up winning the War of Attrition here. Yo, stinky. <laughs> As they reflect, makes sense. Really, I think that my game plan here is just to, like, get some heavy damage off while wasting their Dynamax, because my endgame looks really good without Dynamax. Even though oh, that was a crit, right? That was a crit, right? Tell me that, was a, tell me that wasn't. It was not. It was not a crit. Let's let's go, dude. That was not a crit. And we eat that hit better than they eat, they eat our hit. You know, no surprise though. I eat a lot of stuff. Food, water, diet coke. It doesn't count as either of those. Diet coke does not count as either of those. Um, I might just delete that Moltres right now. I'm thinking these two moves will do it. And if it doesn't, well by golly, am I am I the idiot? I think I have Rockfall here. These two should do it, because they already set up a reflect. I think that Rockfall after this will, will be enough. 
They go for the Volt Switch. Yeah, hit the Switch, dog. Hit the Switch. Thank you, Dashing Sceptile. I want to get back into streaming, but I, I don't know when I would stream. Because the thing is, I, I like going to sleep early. It's my thing. I like I like going to sleep at a reasonable time. You feel? Oh, we did a lot. This Rockfall will do it. I'm going to say this Rockfall will do it. This is a Life Orb Rockfall. And we outspeed? I don't care about your Berserk, man. We're going to outspeed. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. How many rounds are we doing, Zordor? I wouldn't mind a hundred bucks in my pocket. I wouldn't mind that. I respond to my girlfriend. She sent two messages in the span of a couple of seconds, so I was concerned. I was like, oh no, what happened? It's, it's all good. It's all good. So, there's no safe switch in for the Heatran, and I don't believe I saw a balloon. But just to play it safe, I'll double. <laughs> just to play it safe, let me go for this Max Quake. Tap if any protects. Makes sense. Thunderbolt. I wasn't paying attention, so if there was a balloon... Okay, there wasn't. Shuka. Okay. I don't think they take that, because they're not Dynamaxed. They are behind a Reflect and stuff, but I don't think they take that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Is it just me, or is anyone else really struggling with team building in Series 7? I mean, it's because I don't like to play control, and Series 7 is very hyper-offensive. I mean, my team is sort of a control team. I think that if you run screens, it's, it's like, easier to play the way that you and I like to play. I would definitely recommend... I would definitely recommend Moltres. If, if you're having trouble playing defensively, play Moltres. That, that's fun. Alright, I think that's just game. Because what I can do here is go into Moltres and Earthquake. That's my play. I'm behind a light screen, so I should be fine. No, I just forfeit. Good. GG, game one. Alright, play with the same rules. I wouldn't really call this too hyper offensive. I think there's a lot more bulky options. Tapu Fini's great. Moltres is great. Screens Coco. Screens Aleki. A lot of stuff is really good. All right. So, um, I still think my lead was phenomenal. I'm gonna keep it real with you. I think that lead was absolutely goaded. I don't think they're gonna bring Moltres on the lead anymore. Moltres in the lead was not great for them. I didn't reveal Finny. Did I bring Finny? I already... That's how tired I am, guys. That's how tired I am. I'm literally forgetting what Pokemon I brought. I kind of want to go Marowak calling them. Like, just calling them out on their on their lead last game. I'll go Coco in the back. And I think Kartana isn't awful if I play it correctly. But Moltres overall is the best. So I'm not going to lead off Coco here. I want to try to call them on their Trick Room lead, because their Trick Room lead goes stupid against me. And if I can lead off with my Marowak and they don't lead off with anything to beat it, I'm in a really good spot. Like a really, really, really good spot.
<clears throat> we got the lead. We got the lead, boys. Yeah, I can just stop this trick room. I can definitely stop this trick room right now. I think what I'll do is I'll Dynamax the Landers right now. Because they can fake out the Landers and guarantee that they survive. I'm not certain, but I feel like... Max Airstream into Shadow Bone will do it. Because I'm Life Orb Landorus, and they don't have an Intimidator. I think this will do it. And nothing switches in on this combo of moves. Whatever switches in just dies. That's what's great. Dude, imagine if Rillaboom actually was Rock-type, like how a lot of people predicted it to be. And then it actually took these hits neutrally. That'd be, that'd be gross. So they should be going for a Trick Room here. Where's the self-proc for Moltres? There isn't. Don't need it. Why would I need that? It's dumb. I mean, Max Airstream into Shadow Bone does it. Oh yeah, that's KOing. <laughs> that's KOing. Such a powerful hit. Such a dominant hit. Boom. Nice. So we stopped the Trick Room. All right, thank you, thank you for all the follows, guys. It's been a while since I gone live. Um, I think their Finny's gonna Dynamax. If anything, to be honest, Finny should probably Dynamax here. I'll quake the Finny. I don't think Landers ever Dynamaxes, and I will get in my get in my Coco. Hey, thanks for the bits. Hold up, I'll read that in a second. Get in the Coco so I can try to get a screen up. Um, I've been... Oh, Ninja Hamster, thank you so much for the bits. I appreciate you. I appreciate you very much. I'm getting a lot of follows tonight. It's probably because I grew a lot on YouTube and I haven't streamed since I started growing a lot. Yep, that's probably the Finny. If it's the Heatran, I'm going to be really surprised. And I should probably take a hit at plus one special defense. I'm not certain, though. Because it's a Finny. They don't have the greatest special attack. And that does a significant amount of damage. I might be able to two-shot him. After a Thunderbolt, of course. There's the Geyser. Yeah, we eat that up. Eat it up like Reese's Puffs. That's how it works. There's the Earth Power. Ooh, I didn't like that. Glad I have all that special defense. <laughs> Glad I got all that special defense. Um, I don't want that Heatran to live. In fact, this match gets a lot easier. Everything on my side of the field is weak to Finny. And there's a Rillaboom in the back. I think I should always go with the Finny first. Um, I can live the hit if I max Quake the Heatran here. And also set up a light screen. I want to predict the Finny to protect as they try to remove something from my side of the field. Okay, so that didn't work out. But I still get my light screen up. Yeah, I should have just targeted the Finny. That's a crit. Is it a crit? 
No, it's not, bro. Why is Lander so strong with a life orb? Someone explain it. It should be illegal. It should honestly be illegal. Get this light screen up. Here's the geyser. I think we take it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Tapu Coco. Can I get a ho ya? In a turn here, I'm gonna make a god play. Go for this protect. It should be going for a grassy glide into my Landorus and probably a water move into my um, Tabu Coco, so I'll get in this. Protect, we'll be taking no damage this turn with plus two special defense and a light screen. They would have to crit. Let's see if he doubled into the Landorus. That'd be interesting. Probably not. Oh, he did? Epic. Epic sauce, dude. Epic sauce. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. You guys ready for the god play? I don't know if you're ready for this play. Check this out. I'm gonna fly. Wait, no. I'm gonna fly, but it's not into the Rillaboom. It's into the Finny. I'm going to prevent that Grassy Glide by getting my Coco on the field. Because once Finny's gone, tell me tell me what beats my team once Finny's gone. Nothing. That is the answer. Nothing. Also, Moltres took no damage that turn, which is phenomenal. As he withdraws the Rillaboom. And I fly... And he's not going to protect the Finny, I think. Just because it should feel to him like I'm going for... Um, there's a Muddy Water, that's fine. It should feel to him like I'm going for it into... Oh, he I, I missed... Or I made him... <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, how necessary is Reflect? Not very. Not very necessary. What if the Rillaboom came in for the Finny right here? I would lose it. I would lose it. Uh, let me keep my... Let me keep my Coco. I'd rather keep that. Let me get in the Moltres. I want to keep the Coco healthy. Or not healthy, but alive. Tell me you switch in the, the, the Rillaboom right here for the Finny. I would lose my mind. I would lose my mind. <laughs> oh, please, please, please. I, I, I scared myself. I thought he did it. Come on. <laughs> please. Please don't miss. I think fly is a chance to miss. Please don't miss. Oh my god. Game Freak, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Yes! <laughs> I had to put down my controller. There's a heat wave. It's doing nothing to the Moltres. And Landorus lives. He gets burned though, so he'll go down at the end of the turn. Brain stops. That's phenomenal. That's phenomenal, man. Alright, cool. Let me get in my Coco. To pressure the Finny. Clip it. Clip it. Gargantuan brain plate. Bro, alright. I, I honestly think that uh, I have undiagnosed dyslexia, and that's because ever since I was little, I have always mixed up letters and numbers, and I've been really bad at reading out loud because of that. I can read in my head, but I always mess it up and I have to like, go back and read again. I was ordering Jimmy John's on the Jimmy John's app the other day, and <laughs> you're going to laugh. I was ordering Jimmy John's on the Jimmy John's app the other day, right? And the app was like, hey... What kind of sandwich do you want? A classic or all those different things? It was listing all of them, right? So I, I try to find the kind of sandwich I want. Let me nasty plot here. Um, I try to find the sandwich that I want, and I'm going through the sections. There's gargantuan, and I read it. Thank you for the sub. Thank you for the subs order. I appreciate you. So I I can't even 
I can't even look at myself. I read Gargantuan wrong. I turn to my friend and I go, hey, look, they named their sandwiches after monkeys. They have a Garangatang. <laughs> I thought it was a Garangatang. I don't know why. I thought it was a Garangatang sandwich. I was so stupid. Okay. There's the taunt. Ooh. All right, let me get in the Marowak. I should be in a winning position now. Because behind light screen, he can't KO me. Without crits. So I'll do this. Does plus two KO this thing? I don't know. Shadow Bone and Fiery Wrath should do it. That's fine. As he protects, he's trying to stall my my thing. I read it as Garangatang. <laughs> I'm so dumb, dude. So dumb. Shadow Bone the Finny. Fiery Wrath it as well. I could also just Air Slash, but I'm scared it's going to miss, and I don't know if plus two would do it. So I'll just do this. If you Moonblast me, I'll get my weakness policy too. So um, if I survive this turn after taking a super effective hit, I, I just win the game. What tournament is this? This is the Nino Pokey Bros tournament. Oh, we got the. F oh! <laughs> That's just how it is sometimes. That's just how it is sometimes. We got the double flinch. This move's busted. GG's. Alright. Alright, so it looks like he's gonna forfeit here. Shadow Bone. Fiery Wrath. And he forfeits, so that's going to be... Game 1, report score game 1, Moxie boosted, report score game 2, Moxie boosted. Nice. So we do win uh, first, first match of the bracket. Let me look at the bracket. 